Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about the color coding. So we have the different different resistors we are having. These resistors we use in the lab experiments as well as in the practical circuit. We use the resistors. So these resistors are having different different color bands. Okay, by using that color bands, we can able to say the what is the value of that resistor. The resistor value they will not mention on the resistor that physical resistor, they will not mention that, that value. They will, uh, we have the colors, color bands. Okay, by using that color bands only, we can able to tell the what is the value of that particular resistor. To tell that value, we have the color coding. Okay, by using that color coding, okay, we can able to tell the what is the value of that particular resistor. Let's see what is color coding. Okay, or what is the formula we use to tell the value of that resistor okay let's see here we have the different colors here so if the resistor having the black color the black color band that indicates the value is zero okay if it is a brown color then we will indicate with one next if it is a red two for the orange color it is a three and for yellow color it is a four and for the green color it is five if it is a blue color it is six and it is a violet seven and the gray color is eight and next last one is a uh, for the white color it is nine and these last colors gold and silver are the common colors okay so we can remember this code by bb roy goes to bombay via gateway okay like this we can remember okay here these color Colors are used to find the value of the resistor. Total, there are nine colors. Okay, you should remember with a shortcut. Just now I said the shortcut. Uh, with that shortcut, you have to remember. Okay, by seeing that uh, resistor only, you can able to tell what is the value of that resistor. Because uh, while doing the lab experiments, okay, you should able to pick up the what is the required resistor with your own. Okay, here yeah, we'll see what is a... A tolerance band here. Yeah. So if you take the tolerance band, uh, now we have the gold and silver uh, with the tolerance band. Uh, it, it is gold. It is having the tolerance band. It is a plus or minus five percent. Now if you can see the silver, uh, silver is having the tolerance band up. It is the ten percent. Okay. Now let's say suppose if there is a one resistor. A resistor is having the four band colors. For example, uh, A is a one color band and B is a one more color band and C. Okay. Next, this last color is, it is a gold or silver. Okay. So, for, for example, assume that this resistor is having the three colors. A, B, C and the last color is gold or silver. So for this the formula is A, B into last color is the multiplier 10 power C. Okay. And this, this is the formula we use. If it is if it is a three colors. Now if you see the four color band. So assume that this is the resistor. Resistor is having the color A and color B and color C and the color D and the last color is it is a gold or silver. So for this we use the formula is A, B, C into the last color is the multiplier 10 power D. Whatever the value of the D value that we will write here. A, B, C into 10 power D. So like this we will calculate the uh, particular value of the resistor. Okay, let's see the way by taking one practical resistor, uh, let's calculate. So this is a practical resistor that we, uh, the, this resistor we use in the practical circuit as well as the, in the lab. Okay, if you can see the, uh, uh, these colors here, this, this resistor, this is the resistor. It is having the three color bands here, brown, black, red. Okay, three band and that last color is a gold or silver is a common color. Here, what is the value? Uh, this brown, this this is indicated the brown. What is the value of the brown here? Brown indicates one. It is a black. 
okay what is the black color indicates black indicates zero next so what of this is the red red indicates two here yeah red indicates the color two okay it is it is a, a multiplier last color is a multiplier if we apply the formula we will get a b that is one into ten sorry one into zero into ten power two is equal to what is the value we will get it is we will get thousand thousand we will get so thousand we can write it as one kilo ohm okay so this is the value of the resistor one kilo ohm is the value of the resistor if the any resistor is having the color bands are brown black red the value of that resistor is one kilo ohm this is a procedure to find out the resistor value by using these colors okay we will find out we will apply this formula and we will find out the uh, that particular resistor value okay this that this particular resistor value is one kilo ohm okay now let's see one more color that is suppose if this <coughs> if this resistor is having brown black and red now if the resistors are uh, if resistor bands are like this brown black B L A C K black and the red sorry not red brown black again black again it is having the black color and the last one is a brown color and the gold or silver suppose if the resistor is having the three these four band colors okay what is the formula we have to use here so if you can see the color coding it is a brown color brown indicates here it is what brown indicates one next what about the black black indicates zero so what is the black here black indicates again zero so here brown brown means what is our one this is a this is the multiplier last color okay here if you write the value here 1000 into 10 power 1 the value is 1 kilo ohm the value is 1 kilo ohm sorry 1 kilo ohm that is it is a thousand ohms thousand ohms or one kilo ohm one kilo ohm okay here from this we can uh, observe that if the resistor is having brown black red that value is also one kilo ohm and this one kilo ohm res resistor is also having the colors brown black black brown if the resistor is having these four colors that is also one kilo ohm only if the resistor having brown black red that is also we can say that that is also one kilo ohm resistor okay one resistor is having the one different ways of color with the same value okay so brown black red is a one kilo ohm and if it is having brown black black brown that is also one kilo ohm okay let's see the remaining resistors so some examples we will take okay here this is this resistor is having red 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 and the last color is gold or silver common color now let's calculate the value of this resistor if we calculate the value of this resistor here red indicates what here red indicates two see here red indicates two okay again this red indicates two and again this red indicates two two this two is a multiplier if we apply the formula here 2 2 into 10 power 2 here we will get 2200 now if we convert into kilo ohms we will get 2.2 kilo ohms okay like this we will calculate that this particular value of the resistor if any resistor is having red 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 that value of that resistor is 2.2 kilo ohm okay 
let's see one more resistor. Suppose this is one more resistor. It is having the orange, orange, red color. Let's, ca let's calculate what is the value of this resistor. Okay. So we have the colors here. This orange indicates what here? Orange indicates 3. If you can see here, orange indicates 3. Now, this color band, second color band is orange indicates again 3. And the third one color is red. This is a multiplier. Red indicates 2. As the as we are having the three colors. 3, 3 into the last one, last color is a multiplier. That is 10 power 2. So if we calculate this value, we will get 3300. If we convert into kilo ohms, that is 3.3 kilo ohms. Okay, the resistor which is having orange, orange, red color, that value of that resistor is 3.3 kilo ohms. Okay, so this is a 3.3 kilo ohm resistor. Now let's see one more resistor. Here, yeah, it is having the brown color and it is the green color and the red color. So, let's see the colors here. So, here, yeah, brown indicates what? Brown indicates color 1. Okay, this green color band, again, the green indicates here 5. Now, the next color, the last multiplier color is orange, uh, sorry, red indicates 2. If we apply the formula here, we will get 1, 5 into last color is 10 power 2. Okay. Here, if we calculate this, we will get 1500. So, what is the 1500 value if we convert into kilo ohms? 1.5 kilo ohms. 1.5 kilo ohms. Okay, that above resistor value is 1.5 kilo ohms. Okay, now we will take one more resistor. Okay, this resistor is having brown, gray and red color. Okay, now what is a brown color indicates here? 1. Brown color indicates 1. Here gray indicates 8. Okay, now this red indicates what? Red indicates 2. This is called as a multiplier. Here, if we apply the formula here, 1, 8 into the last color is 10 power 2. Okay, it is 1800. If we calculate, if we convert into kilo ohms, we will get 1.8 kilo ohms. Okay. The, the resistor which is having brown, gray, red, the value of that resistor is 1.8 kilo ohms. Okay, let's say one more resistor. This generally these all the resistors we use in our lab. That's what we are discussing. These resistors. Here, this resistor is having the three color bands. That is the red color, and it is the violet color. Let's see what is the violet color. Red indicates two. We know familiar color here. It is red, and the violet indicates here it is seven, and the red indicates here again it is two. Okay, if we apply the formula here. 2, 7 into 10 power 2. Okay, here, yeah. if we simplify that, we will get 2,700. So, if we convert into kilo ohms, we will get 2.7 kilo ohms. Because the resistor, which is having the color bands, red, violet, red, that indicates 2.2 kilo ohms. Okay, like this, we will calculate the each and every resistor value by using this color coding. Okay, try to remember this all the uh, colors. Okay, by seeing that color, you can able to say what is the value of the red. Red means two. You can say straight away. You have to tell directly. Okay, if it is a brown, if it is a brown color one, red two, orange three, like that, you have to tell directly. This is a uh, uh, method we use to calculate the resistor value. If there are if there are only two colors, A B. If there are three colors, A, B into 10 power C is the formula. And if there are four colors, A, B, C into 10 power D is the formula. So like this, we will calculate the color coding.